Recently, I made a video on how you can install the multiple RTMP plugin for OBS. And what this means is it allows you to stream to multiple platforms using the OBS software itself. But in this particular one, we're going to look at the setup together. Oh, you didn't watch that particular video I did on how to install it. Okay, don't worry. We're going to go through the steps here together. I'm going to show you how to install it and also we'll go through the steps on how you can set it up and use it to stream to multiple platforms using the OBS software. In case you haven't subscribed, please smash that red subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you whenever I upload videos like this on this channel. And without any further ado, let's go through the steps by step guide on how you can be able to install the multi RTMP plugin, set up the multi RTMP plugin, and also use it to stream to multiple platforms. The first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open your web browser, whichever one you're using. I'm going to drop this link in the description of this particular video. So click on it to get straight to this web page. Now click on the go to download. Once you click on that, another page is going to pop up, which is this particular one you're seeing on the screen. Scroll down to you see the assets. Now on the asset, you see a Windows x64 installer.exe file. That is what you are downloading. This is for Windows users. Okay. Now click on that and it's going to download. Click on download and once it's already finished downloading, open your file explorer, just open up, up and you see the plugin here. You can select open or run as administrator, whichever one you do is perfectly fine. So just click on that and install the plugin. I already have it running on my PC. Once you finish installing the plugin and make sure that the OBS software is not running while you are installing this plugin. So close the OBS software before you install the plugin. Now, once you already finish installing the plugin, open the OBS software and you see the multiple output on the screen there. That is this particular one I'm moving. So it's going to pop up on your screen. So you can drag it and put it any section you want it to be in. I just want it to remain where it is. In case if it does not show, click on the dock and see the multiple output here. Make sure it's ticked and that will pop on the multiple output window for you on the screen. And the next thing you're going to do is to set up the default streaming from OBS so that the multiple output plugin will be able to use the encoder from the OBS default streaming to also stream to other platforms that we're going to add on it as well. Okay, now click on the settings and then go over to stream. I'm just going to reduce this window, the size of it. If you want to use the custom RTMP server, all you have to do is to put it on, click on it and put it on custom. Go ahead and open the YouTube studio on go live. And from here, you can copy the stream URL, go back to the OBS and paste it on the server as a stream URL. Go back again on the browser, copy the stream key, open the OBS software and paste it on the stream key. And once you're done, you can click on apply and OK. This is the simplest way. But for this video, we're going to be using the YouTube RTMPS. And that is because the YouTube RTMPS is more advanced and gives you more functionality. And also want you to learn new things in this particular video. Don't worry. You can still use it to set up and do multiple stream on the OBS software. Now let's select the YouTube RTMPS. And once you already selected that, it will ask you to connect your account. And all you have to do is to click on the connect account. Your browser is going to open. Log into your Gmail account if you haven't and select the Gmail that is attached to your YouTube account. And once you already selected that, it will pop up for you to select your YouTube channel. I'm just going to select my here and just give me some seconds for it to load. Allow. And once you already allow that, it's going to show on the connected account. You see, or take it there. Click on the output. You're going to see the streaming. And from here, you can play around with the video between and put it on 2000, 3000. Just play around with it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use 1500 kbps. And then the audio bitrate rate also, you can put it on 128 or 160. So I'm just going to use 128. On the video encoder, if you're using an NVIDIA graphics powered PC, click on this video encoder and you see it select that particular one but if you're not if you're using a shared graphics pc maybe intel shared graphics core i5 or core i7 you can put it on the software instead of leaving it on the hardware so put it on the software and also on the encoder preset you can put it on very fast or you can put it on fast so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use the ultra fast because it's just a test okay so put it on ultra fast and then the audio encoder leave it on the aac default on this video is where you set your basic resolution that you're going to stream on common fps volume you can set it on 30 then again if you're using a high graphics pc be 2 gig dedicated nvidia graphics or 4 gig or 8 gig you can keep it on 60 all right the if not if you're using an intel core i5 shared graphics pc just leave it on 30 to reduce the workload on the cpu right 
and once you've already done this click on ok and because we've already connected our youtube account to the obs software you're going to see the youtube chat is going to pop up because the two of them are linked together now and what this means is whatever people are saying on youtube on your live stream you'll be able to monitor the real time update from the obs software here itself and also if you take a look beside the start streaming it has splitted into two you see the manage broadcast and the start streaming button and what this means is all the settings we're supposed to do on youtube be your title changing and every other thing you can do all of it from the obs software itself but if you want to use the one you already set on youtube it's very important that you set this or select the ones you already set on youtube and click on the select existing broadcast and you'll be able to select the ones you already set on youtube the ones you already created on youtube when I say the ones you already created on YouTube, I mean this here. So you click on the edit here. And from here, you can either set it manually from the YouTube software from here, or you can just close it and do the settings from OBS. You create new broadcast here, and you can be able to do all of your settings here. I'm going to use the one I already created from YouTube, okay? Because this is just a tutorial. Click on that, and then see, select broadcast. So once you've already selected, click on the select broadcast, and that is it. It's going to select the broadcast for me and once you've already selected that this thing that we're going to do is to set up our multi outputs on the multi output click on add a new target click on that we're going to name this particular one facebook okay we're going to name this one facebook here and once you already name that open your browser and go over to your facebook page 90 percent of the facebook pages now uses the new page experience you have to change the profile between your facebook account and also your facebook page that you want to stream on you want to use a page you can switch between all of them if you don't know how to do that click on the profile icon and go to see all profile and from here you can select facebook page you want to stream on or your facebook account that you want to stream on and once you've already done that click on the live video here and then click on go live here you see it's set on webcam select the streaming software here and then scroll down so you see the settings click on settings click on stream and then you can turn off this allow encoder to end stream if your network provider are reliable just like mine here so you can turn this off so if the network fluctuates your live stream will not end okay or your internet fluctuates your live stream is not going to end once you've already done this go back to the stream setup here and let's give it a title so i'm going to name it test and then the description we're going to name it test and save it here and once you've already saved this scroll down and click on the advanced settings on the advanced settings scroll down and you see the server you are at there copy the server url and if you want to use a persistent stream key as if you continually stream on this facebook page you can use put it on the persistent stream key so anytime you want to do your live stream you don't have to copy the key again it will use one single key all for all your streaming that you want to do but the ones you're doing now right now and the ones you're going to do later on okay so copy the server url go back to the obs software and let's put it on the rtmp server place that here and then go back to the browser again scroll up and copy the stream key open the obs software and paste it on the rtmp key now you see the username and also the password leave it the way it is don't make any changes to it just leave it the way it is by default so it won't affect your live stream all right and on the video settings see get from obs now what this means is all the settings that you're doing will be drive or gotten from obs so the encoder setting you have on obs will also be used or the multi output so you wouldn't want this one to be different and that one to be different given the system but different workload okay also the audio settings get from obs so that all the settings that you've already done on obs will be applied here as well and once you're done click on ok remember don't click on start from the multi output if you've not click on start streaming from the obs software now the streaming will have to start from the obs software remember all the encoder settings you're using is from the obs software so you're going to start the streaming first from the obs before you click on start on the multi output you see the facebook there the start button the modify and the delete so you have to click on start from the obs before you click on that particular one i'm going to click on start from the obs software uh it's already streaming already now once you've already done this go over to the multi output and click on start from the facebook setting we just did click on start as well and that will connect to our facebook page but once you've already done this open your browser see here this is the facebook page here click on go live so as you can see here we are streaming on two platforms and see the connection there is an excellent connection we are streaming on youtube and at the same time we are streaming on our facebook page and from here you can add more platforms you can add uh, maybe twitch any other platform you want to add see the add new target there you can add you can add maybe up to five six any number that you want to add you can add as many as you want to 
and from the face youtube chat here that is pops up on the screen you can monitor the chat and what people are saying or those that are asking your question or you're doing a live stream or maybe they want a response and be able to monitor the real time update from it on the screen here and you can see and this stream is very very smooth you can monitor everything that is happening very very smooth now remember if you're using the custom rtmp server the one i showed you before you just copy the key and uh, stream url from face from youtube and paste it on obs just click on start streaming from obs first before you click on start stream as the start button on the multi output because the multi output is using the encoder from the obs software so the obs have to start before it to fit the encoder to the multi output okay so and that is it if in case you love videos like this consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't also turn on the notification bell so youtube will notify you whenever i upload videos like this on this youtube channel thank you and hopefully see you in our next video.